Hello again, this is Wesley at Synth City. In this video, we are going to listen to the two new modules from WMD and SSF, the MMF and the Doppler. The MMF is a multi-mode filter, and the Doppler is a dual delay built around two PT2399 digital delay chips. So instead of a full tour, uh, I'm going to offer some patch examples to demonstrate the sound of these modules. I will break down each patch as we go along. Our first patch today is going to be driven by the wired woggle bug. I've got the stepped output going through the ARD core. Um, we're using a quantizer sketch written by Gregor McNish. I'll put that link in the description for the video so you can have a look at that. That voltage is then being molted to both the piston Honda as well as the cutoff on the multi-mode filter. I'm going to be using the bandpass output there, which is going to go through the amplitude and then to the Doppler after that. Now we've got the Doppler being modulated by the maths. Channel 1 there is going to be sending voltage to the regeneration. Um, we're going to be hearing that peaking and valleying as the delay itself goes into self-oscillation. Additionally, the maths is going to be opening and closing the amplitude. I've got a real simple kind of metallic sound coming out of the piston Honda. And then I believe I have some resonance CV coming from the woggle bug as well that's coming out of the woggle output and being attenuated by the maths. I will say that the WMD SSF modules that are 4 HP, you're going to need a little bit of extra attenuation. They're not there on the module. So something like the maths is pretty handy for finding the sweet spots on these modules. Uh, let's uh, give this first one a listen. On to the second patch. This one puts the maths in charge. Uh, the output of channel one is running through the ARDCore quantizer and then into the one volt per octave input on the piston Honda. Channel four of maths is being clocked by channel one and that voltage is scanning the hither bank on the piston Honda. Uh, one and four are mixed and summed to the spread input on the Doppler and the OR output from maths is going to the wave discontinuity on the piston Honda. Lastly, the Woggle CV from the Woggle Bug is going to the FM input on the multi-mode filter. We're going to be hearing the low-pass mode on the MMF on this round. I have the, uh, the delay time maxed out on the Doppler for this patch. Uh, we're going to hear the built-in low-pass filter on that unit, helping reduce some of the noisy artifacts. Uh, maybe a little bit of distortion in there, too, since I'm hitting the input of the Doppler with a pretty wide spectrum of sound. Um, let's give this a listen.
So this will be our third and final patch. I thought I'd uh, blast a bunch of noise through the MMF and the Doppler. It's the only thing left, I think. Uh, the biggest thing going on with this patch is that I have the output from the Piston Honda molted here so that I can run it through the ring mod on the Woggle Bug and then back into itself via the external input right here. Um, the output of that's then going to the multi-mode filter and the Doppler. I have a bunch of modulation I'm throwing around here. It's sort of hard to walk through it all, but I'll say that I've got the FM input, the ping input, and the resonant CV input, accepting modulation from both the woggle bug and the maths. Um, and then I have the Doppler's delay time being modulated as well. Um, let's just give it a listen. Thanks for watching today. This has been Wesley from Synth City.